Hey and welcome back, I'm Dave from the Kodo, back with another B Basics tutorial. Uh, today we'll be talking about the Swarmer. Uh, what this is, is a Swarmer block is part of the Alviary, obviously as we've been doing the series about the Alviary blocks. Uh, that uses... Oh, rain. That uses Royal Jelly to function. I have one set up right over there. Uh, and what it does is it will create hives that have a chance, uh, or that duplicate the princess that is in the alviary at the time. So if I come over here, you can see that this swarmer block has been added to this alviary that contains uh, Meadow's princess. They, I put royal jelly in here. I did have full stacks of 64, and I've been just cycling in and out the, the queen, and it's using the royal jelly. Uh, it seems to use a random amount, really not really, it's not ticking down one at a time. Uh, it kind of uses a random amount. I haven't noticed a, a solid, regular amount that it's using. But what it does is, in an area around it, it has a chance to create, and there's one right there, and I was actually standing on one right here. This one created naturally. Uh, from that, I didn't place it here, but uh, it creates these brown hives. So now if, let me pull out of creative mode just to be safe. If I break it, you can see that I have a copy of the Meadows Princess that is in there. Now, if you watched any of the other tutorials, the Mutator Black one specifically, you'll notice it has the minus sign, so it is a damaged genome. Which means that this princess will pass that on to the the offspring. So it'll pass it on to the Meadows drone as well as uh, the, f the future princess that breaks from the queen. So that is something that you do need to keep in mind when using the swarmer. This is not uh, a very good way of creating more princesses rather than going and finding them. Um, it's best to find them and then transform them but if you're looking for a specific uh, meadows princess like if you only have one imperial queen and you want a whole bunch of imperial princesses but you don't want to have to go through the process of making the serums and transferring them over um, this is the way to do it but you're gonna have to constantly be watching to see if the the princesses are dying uh, as you can see the range on this is enormous this one is another naturally spawned uh, hive there and you can see they both have the negative effect on them so it's important to remember that you this is this is a way to make more princesses but they're going to die uh the there's no way to get rid of that negative effect so if we come back over here to our test alviary boop, we'll pop one out put in a swarmer wait for it to regenerate And when you right-click on the Swarmer, you can see that Royal Jelly is what it needs in here. And you can put them all in one. You can split them up like I did. You can do whatever your heart's content. But it will use these up as it goes. Uh, so if I throw a Meadows in there, let me grab one of these drones. So let's see here. Add the drone. And you see the queen does have the negative effect. So you have to be weir leery of that. That's You're, you're going to have some issues with these princes. They're eventually going to die. Uh, so you have to pay attention to what's going on. Now, this alviary I set up before I did any of the tutorials. And this is the fifth in the line of tutorials. And it's been running the entire time. And I've been switching in and out the the, the queen when they break every every time I notice it is broken and I only had two of the brown um, hives spawn so the the frequency that they're spawning is not incredible but they do spawn I mean one spawned right here and then there was that other one back there that you saw uh, so don't expect that once you put these in there you're just gonna have hives everywhere and princesses constantly it's it's take some time and they uh, they spawn randomly uh, so just to recap the swarmer oh, which I can show you the recipe here uses the diamond electron tubes uh, the basic alviary block some gold the diamond is this again in the thermomic fabricator um, uses royal jelly see look it didn't even we haven't even gone down a 
quarter of the life, and it's already used three royal jelly. So, like I said, keep that in mind when you are putting royal jelly in here. It burns through it quickly. Uh, it is a way to get more princesses, but you're going to have the negative effect on the princess, and the princess will eventually die. It's uh, kind of a random shot if it dies after the first death, or if it goes for uh, two or three before it dies. It's it's a random chance of when that is going to die, but it will it will eventually die. But you can get exact replicas of the queen that is in there when the the brown hive spawn. So. Let's see if there's any more that spawned around here in my test world. And it doesn't look like it. Only the two. So, I mean, if you're going to use this as a way of getting more princesses to just kind of boost production of your uh, a specific bee without having to go through the process of uh, melting them down into DNA and uh, transferring them over to another bee and working on with them that way, you'll get an exact copy. You just have to deal with the negative effect. Uh... I hope this was helpful to you. The swarmer block, and obviously you can add more of these to the oop, to the alveary as you see fit. But it's going to use up. It's going to want uh, royal jelly, and there goes another. So it's used six so far, and we haven't gone anywhere. It seems to be dropping by threes. Maybe that's the the common area, common common factor there. Uh, hopefully this was. Uh, helpful to you. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Check out my other videos in this series of tutorials for the B Basics Alviary. And like always, good luck and have fun.